Hi, I'm going to be recording a gospel sonnet today, hopefully every day. <laughs> I'm basing this off of Patrick Stewart's reading of the Shakespearean sonnets every day. And so these gospel sonnets are by a minister who has long since gone home to be with the Lord, uh, Ralph Erskine, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Let's see here. The Believer's Espousals, a, a poem upon Isaiah, Thy Maker is Thy Husband's. Preface, Hark, die immortal, if the sonnet prove a song of living and immortal love. Tis then thy grand concern, the theme to know, if life and immortality be so. Are eyes to read, or ears to hear a trust? Shall both in death be crammed anon with dust? Then trifle not to please thine ear and eye, but read thou, hear thou, for eternity. Pursue not shadows winged, but be thy chase, the god of glory on the field of grace. The mighty hunter's name is lost in vain, that runs not this substantial prize to gain. These humble lines assume no high pretense, to please thy fancy or allure thy sense. But aim, if everlasting life's thy chase, to clear thy mind and warm thy heart through grace. A marriage so mysterious, I proclaim, betwixt two parties of such different fame, that human tongue may blush their names to tell, to wit, the prince of heaven, the heir of hell. But on so vast a subject, who can find words suiting the conceptions of his mind? Or if our language with our thought could vie, what mortal thought can raise itself so high? When words and thoughts both fail, may faith and prayer ascend by climbing up the scripture stair. From sacred writ, these strange espousals may be explicated in the following way.